right, we're checking out the only game where if you take the stairs, the stairs take your life. It's GTA. We wanted to find out which vehicles in GTA could deal with the most ridiculous stairs, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. There's multiple different segments of stairs spanning across the entire map. There's everything from alternating stairs to satisfying stairs, and Alex has given us all these different vehicles to do this in. However, this is a timed board with no checkpoints, which means only one vehicle can win. Let's do this. Beat it in under 2.5 minutes and you'll get, what did I say? And you'll get something at the end. Neon stairs. So there's only a couple of things I know about this board. Oh, this car is awful. I knew this was a timed board. So I picked what I thought would be a fantastic fast car. This car is awful on the stairs. I mean, I guess it's obvious, but what what's with the thumbnail holes? Do I even need to go through these? Like, why are they even here? Why would I even choose to do this to myself? They just go around. Oh, uh, okay. All right, fair enough. Should've seen that coming. Okay, so all, yeah. So all of the thumbnail holes are surrounded by invisible teleporters, which means that you have to go through every single thumbnail hole while going down the stairs or you get brought back to the beginning of the board. That is just awful. Also, do I have to beat the entire board in 2.5 minutes or is it just like this segment or what? Because I, I think I'm already past 2.5 minutes. Listen, I just, I really want to see if I can even, oh my God. All right, let's never speak of that again. Now I know you're saying to yourself, Greg, you just did, you just ruined your own life by picking a stupid car. Why are you doing it again? Alex said that one of the cars that you would think would never do well on this board is actually amazing. So I really want to test them and find out which one that could be. Like already? Well, all right. I was going to say already this is doing better than the Formula One car, but not, well, actually, yeah, the problem is, wow, <laughs> it front flips very well. There's a certain speed limit that you can do with this and it's kind of perfect. It's kind of like right in the middle. I have to take my hand off the gas now and again, though otherwise I go too fast and I front flip. Yeah, I think this was a terrible idea too. This is not the one. All right, we're picking something legit. Now, luckily this car comes equipped with lots of high fructose corn syrup. Oh yeah. Oh, this is, oh, the only problem is it's kind of wide. Oh, I should have thought about that. Getting through the thumbnail holes is not, I want something thin and something short, I guess, because I feel like the length of this thing is really causing the vehicle to bounce a lot more than it should be. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try and keep as much speed as humanly possible Hopefully that allows this car to go forward like an arrow in instead of hitting literally everything everywhere all the time. Oh my God, stairs of the devil. Stairs of the devil. I had no idea. I had no idea that stairs were this bad. You don't want to know how many times I've tried to go down these stairs so far with this vehicle. Oh God. Okay, I'm just causing myself unending pain. This is terrible. All right, check it out. We got speed, we got superchargers, and already it handles way better. The good part is, is that, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's very maneuverable once you start flipping around everywhere. Oh, big save. It's very maneuverable once you start flipping around everywhere. So it's already head and shoulders above any of the other vehicles that I've chosen so far. And it flies just, I'm, oh, <laughs> maybe not. I was gonna say I'm so dead right now. And it's already way past anything that any of the other cars could do. I love the Tron feel to the agony that I am having to deal with right now. So at least there's a, there's a little bit of positivity <laughs> to the mental anguish oh God, that I am forced to endure in order to get down the stairs. Also, did you have to make this section so unbelievably long? <laughs> the good part is too, is that this car has a boost on it. Ah, uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this one a different color than the others? Like the, I think, I just trust me on this. Now that I know that this car, yeah, okay. If you notice the colors, icy stairs, oh God, no and the snowmen are solid props. I was gonna say all of the other 
Thumbnail, I can't see through the windshield at all. All of the other thumbnail holes were yellow and pink, and the last one was red. Oh wow, these snowmen are unbelievably tough, considering the vehicle that we have is meant to be like a demolition vehicle. Oh God! All right, you know what? Let's try something else. All right, I went back to thinking about what Alex said. Good luck. Does it, is that, is that a sarcastic good luck or not? So what I was saying is I went back to what Alex said about how one of the cars that you would think wouldn't be good is surprisingly amazing. And I thought to myself, hey, maybe it would be the mom car. I'm not feeling it. Maybe it's just me, but this car feels like absolute trash garbage. <laughs> Sad part is it's not terrible. It's so small that you can fit through the thumbnail holes without a problem. The issue is it loves to just spin. Look at it. It just nonstop, I'm getting dizzy. I'm going to projectile vomit inside of the mom car. And then mom's gonna have to come home from the grocery store and clean it up. Oh yeah, we'll just transfer backwards. Nope, I'm gonna fly off the board. All right, new plan. I'm picking a real car this time. I've had enough of the meme cars for a moment. We're gonna do something with some bite. There we go. Yes. Yes. Ow. That's still okay. Because this can, this has great speed on the stairs. Look at it. Ow. The problem is I'm probably going to end up hitting every single thumbnail hole there is. Well, hmm. You know, as long as the rear wheels can catch on the stairs, it's not so bad. Oh yeah, look at that, big save. We're gonna do it backwards, I don't even care. But everything's in reverse, so. I was gonna say, if I wanna go to the right, I have to technically steer to the left. <laughs> so far, I would say this vehicle is the best. It's got probably easily the best time right now. And it's thin enough, oh God. It's thin enough to the point where I can fit through all the thumbnail holes without much of a problem. Except for the last thumbnail hole, which you're supposed to go around. So we'll just keep going backwards and then we'll go on to the icy stairs. And there you go, that was the first area. Pretty good. All right, icy steps, snowmen. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, this thing is great on ice. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't believe that my arch enemy is snowmen. And if you touch the snowmen while you're driving on the ice, they will send your vehicle flying. Oh God. Okay, this is a good run. I have, I have, I have the speed that you need. Yeah, I have the speed that you need to go down the stairs perfectly. I just have to take my foot off the gas a lot. Okay, so icy, Stairs back end is starting to skid out a little bit, but it's fine. I love how we're doing the like a dance the jig down all the stairs. Oh god! Down all the stairs. Please don't, please don't. I hate you. This is it. This is the chosen one. This is the chosen run. Right here. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it's perfect. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Perfect. So now I have three snowmen, then two, then one. It's a pizza. No! No! <laughs> no! It's such a good run! Ow. They call me big. All right, America. Let's run this. Go. Now, you'd figure this would do pretty good. Because we've got... Well, the problem is the width. Um, oh, wow. Okay, I was... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. It just full spin. 360 over to the left. No big deal. The problem is, when this thing bounces, you can... It is almost impossible to recover. It's great at climbing things, but the problem is we're not climbing, we're technically falling. This, oh God, this entire board is just one controlled lethal fall. And the monster truck is not doing at all as well as I would have anticipated. It is so slow going down the stairs. I will never beat this board in 2.5 minutes. I think it's the whole board because I have not seen a single checkpoint yet. Yeah, this is, this is not good. Okay, I got down to the ice. I just, oh wow. Okay, so it goes over the snowman with no problem. I wanted to see if maybe I can gain a lot of time. Oh yeah. Okay, this isn't that bad. This is feeling good. I can gain a lot of time on the ice. Oh, oh, the grip is decent when you need to correct. Oh, I've murdered so many snowmen. I feel so bad about, is that Christmas tree dancing with the snowmen? 
it is. At the very least, we're gonna get to see what the next level is because I, I've we've got we've got the icy stairs. Look at this. Icy stairs ow, are going to be complete. Okay, what's next? What do you got for me now? Uneven stair. Oh, and a stop stick. Uneven stairs. Oh, all right. So what it is, is you go down the stairs and now you see there's some stairs on some area, but not on the other area. So I'm assuming these stairs is you're going to try and go really fast and then, oh, and they're getting bigger each time too. And then the stairs are going to try and flip you effectively. Like if you catch one tire on one piece of stair, it'll try and, f what is that ahead of us? So, so far, Oh, I was gonna say so far, this is doing the best. Okay, this is like the last meme vehicle that there is. So I, th I thought maybe this would be the one Alex was talking. Wow, oh my God. Okay, this is, um, it's really, it's really difficult to describe, but the second, yeah, the second that you touch a stair, uh, Okay, I think I know how this thing drives. This is amazing. No joke. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Alex was talking about. It's such a stupid vehicle, but it's so easy. Yeah, watch. Gas, gas, gas. You just have to know kind of when to let go of the gas. And it's so easy to get through all the thumbnail holes. This is great. This has got to be the one that Alex was talking about. So now it's just a... <laughs> <laughs> this is the chosen run. I want to see how this thing does on the ice and everything else. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we made it to the ice. Decent time so far, I would say. I I'm not going to get it in 2.5 minutes. I need a perfect run to do that. But look at how, look at how crazy this is. Also, <laughs> I guess Frosty versus the submachine gun. He's, he's wearing his bulletproof top hat or something because the, the bullets do not take Frosty down. But it doesn't matter. Cause you get a ton of space to work with and look at the speed. This is great. This is the best car. Well, it's not even a car. This is the best vehicle. Easy so far. I might be able to beat this board with this thing. So uneven stairs, but look at the traction. I can determine exactly where I go. Which is over to the left, over to the right. And now over to the left. Oh, oh I, was, I was thinking about squeezing over to the left, but I couldn't catch it. So I was going to try and squeeze to the right. All right. I lost a lot of time, but I think we can probably make, make it to the end of the board and then get the opportunity to see what we're dealing with here. Because again, look at this. Perfect. I might just want to stay away from all the red, honestly. And then I go straight for the red. Well, I guess I have to be on it now because I'm there. So what is this? Satisfying round stairs. Do I go into the pit or is it you go, oh, there's a stop sticks. Okay. What the, what is that? Was it like little blockades? Like little blockades rise up from the neat, yeah, from the, the nether realm. Oh my God. Oh, it killed me. All right. We're doing this first try. Well, not first try, but this is going to be the run. Look at this. I'm going to do it backwards. I don't even care. Full flip and then spin back around straight ahead. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, we're running it. Whoa. This is easily the best vehicle I have found on ice yet. Driving on the ice just feels like driving on the roadway. It doesn't even do anything. It's great. The snowman area is absolutely... I'm glad I didn't fly off the thing. The snowman area is absolutely no big deal. Even the spinning ones, I can just go around them. Uneven stairs, as long as I commit. So if I go to the red, I just need to stay... Oh, God. I just need to stay on the red and then go around the sign and try to not split the vehicle like I did just then. But even when I do, it handles it really well. Man, I am so glad that I bought this from Target for $4.99. <laughs> this looks like like some, some present. Oh God, no! What I was trying to say is this looks like a power wheel. It looks like something that you buy your kid for their third birthday party or something. All right, so satisfying, huh? Oh man. Wow, what happened? I got launched like really badly. I think I'm gonna get killed now. Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, that was weird. Okay, I think I can definitely say that vehicle cannot handle whatever these stairs are. It just can't go down them. The best. He wouldn't lie to me. Alex wouldn't lie to me. I say that kind of tongue in cheek because Alex has lied to me a lot. But this will tell me if it's good or not. Um, 
Mm, yeah, it feels okay. Yeah, this is another one where if you have the right speed and you don't just hit the gas the whole time, you can control it. So it's not that bad. I'll tell you, if there's one thing I love, it is unending whiplash. Oh, yes. Nothing like some full lumbar spinal compression. How's it do on the icy stairs? Oh, this drifts. Okay. I was gonna say, this thing drifts a lot. All right, I can correct a little bit as long as I like barely. Yeah, when you start to overcorrect, that's what happens. Did you lie to me, Alex? You lied to me. All right, maybe he didn't. This run has been pretty good so far. Really what it comes down to is laying off the gas a lot in places to get down the ice. There we go. Okay, that was, did that bird just fly through the stairs? That was pretty good. Now, let's see how good we are on the uneven stairs. Go. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. I don't even have to, I don't even have to steer. Oh, well, I had to steer a little bit. But like, for the most part, oh God. It just soars over it. Look at the air. Oh, no. Too much air. Oh, come on, baby. I want you to do good. I don't want to be filled with tons of disappointment. I want to be the inverse of my parents. Come on. All right. We have 100% lost way too much time for me flying out of the windshield. But I'm going to see how it does. Oh, God. The satisfying round stairs are going to be just total agony because oh, because if you get anywhere over to the side, it just leans you off the whole board. I'm running out of ideas, man. Now, the one thing about this car oh, is that it gets tons of air. So my plan is we won't have to do that many stairs if we just fly over them. Huh? Uh-huh. See? There's no stairs if there's no stairs you know what i mean basically just go just try and fly over the stairs well it's not really working that well so this wasn't my best run but it's definitely it's definitely not my worst run and now we'll get to see how well it does on the icy stairs and if it can even get past the satisfying stairs all right so icy stairs yeah feels good i remember this car had fantastic traction look at this it's almost as good as the the power wheels look at that right through Right there. I haven't killed. Ah, come on. I was going to say, I haven't killed a single snowman. Legit, my insurance was just about to go down significantly for not murdering a single Frosty. Look at this. Look at the speed. Look at the agility. All right, thumbnail hold the Frosties. Got it. Over to the right. Over to the right again. Now the middle. Now over to the left. Bam. Right there. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit. And now we're going to go around. Perfect. This is probably my second best run on the ice compared to the, the little power wheel scooter thing. All right, uneven stairs. How well does it do? <laughs> Keep seeing a bird coming through the stairs here. How well does it, oh God, how well does it do? Pretty good. Yeah, because I can fly over, mo look at it, look at the speed. Oh, I'm gaining a ton of time. Oh, geez. Oh no. Um, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. In fact, we're gonna get to the satisfying stairs with no problem from here. Look at this. We're gonna go over to the, no, not to the right. I, <laughs> I faked myself out there because the thing started to, oh God, no, yes. Wait, can I even get back up the stairs to redo this? I think I can. So yeah, I can climb up, but I lost a ton of speed, of time. That's fine though. Let's see how it does on the satisfying stairs. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Look at it. Look at it. It's incredible. I can do this on the side. I don't have to hit any of those things. Ah! Oh! Kind of sticks to the landing. No! This is turning out to not actually be that bad. So if I do a perfect run, I think this could be the winner. Ah! I didn't. I wasn't using that door anyway. So this is this is definitely the the farthest sloping stairs. This is definitely the farthest I've ever gone. Oh, sloping stairs aren't that bad. Like. I don't even think that this is a big problem. I thought this was just gonna be a very simple run down to the bottom. At some point, I don't know where it is, it's like the fifth or sixth stair, meteors started spawning, and if you don't make it in time, look, this gate is there and now you can't complete the board. I'm giving it one more try with this thing, just to see if I have like the best run I can get if I have enough time to win. Okay, so I gain all my time back on the ice area for sure then from the ice 
onto the uneven stairs. Okay. Yeah, this is good. Here we go. Over to the now. Uh huh. I just don't. I do not want to touch one of the uneven stairs, or the car is gonna start. Oh god, no! No! It'll start flipping! All right. That's it, Wastelander. Let's do this. The Wastelander should be pretty good. Well, it is really wide. Oh, wow. This is really hard to describe. The top speed of the Wastelander going down the stairs is like perfect. This is nuts. I, look at it. It's not spinning out or flipping or turning. Well, there it did, but that's only because I hit the wall of the thumbnail hole and then it recovers like immediately. It just feels like I'm driving on a normal road. Oh, the Wastelander. Ooh. And on the ice, well, on the ice, the Wastelander's pretty good too. It's more of a matter of me just, you know, hitting Frosty and then flipping the thing. Even then it's just sliding down like six stairs. Ow. I killed a second Frosty while I was sliding. Oh, I can't flip it. Come on, flip, flip, flip. Come on. I've lost a lot of time. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We lost probably a good like 15 seconds, but okay. All right, fair enough. What I was trying to say is if I do this run perfect, oh God. If I do this run perfect, which means I probably can't hit a single one of these thumbnail holes, I think that the Wastelander could 100% beat this board. I literally can't hit a single thumbnail hole though. I've lost too much time. All right, is this gonna be the perfect run? Go. A few moments later. Oh no! <laughs> I've done this multiple times now. This is the only one that starts where you need to be in the middle. Hell. Oh God. Okay. You know what? That was kind of a save. We might still be able to do this. I just need to make sure that I don't lose any other time. I've done this like 10 times so far. You do have to do it perfectly. If you don't do it perfectly, you'll never get it in two and a half minutes. It's, oh my God, oh, I'm screwed. Wait, hold on. Um, I could probably still do this. As long as I don't end up spinning like in a full 360 and stopping, you get about, you get about 15 seconds, I would say to play with. That's what I've found. So as long as I don't mess up for more than 15 seconds, we'll be fine. I've probably used up about six seconds so far. So I've got about nine left. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Don't hit the, oh God, I almost murdered that Frosty. Okay, don't murder the Frosty. No, yes, no, yes. <laughs> this has to be the run. I have saved this car four different times. That was not really a car. I have saved this battleship of a vehicle four different times now where I should have been screwed. So this is like, this is karma. All the, all the years of me getting tortured finally coming back. I'm just gonna go straight here. It's gonna be perfect. Yep. And then over to the left. Please don't do it. Perfect. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So now finally satisfy. All right, satisfying round stairs. I forget about that stop stick like all the time. No, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're down the round stairs. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Where are the meteorites? I know they start somewhere. Yeah, here we go. The meteorites have started, but it's fine. None of them have hit me yet. Yes. Oh my God. Ah! No, no, yes. Ah! Please God, let this happen. Ah! Oh God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I didn't even get to say it, but we have a winner! Well, I took the stairs, and the stairs took my sanity. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.